was going to come back yesterday, but I got caught up doing a bunch of stuff, so. You must secure the mention gate. We have indications Duquesne will try to activate it to prove its functionality to Malhor Skelb. They must have spent stupendous resources on the AGI and printing code alone, even if it failed. They will want to gain something. Duquesne is to be terminated. She now serves a different master. And we have all the data on mention we need. Y Corp will reward you handsomely if you get this done. And you'll be given your independent contractor license. The mention control FI should be located somewhere in the gate itself, deep within the facility. Good hunting. level my guy but mm. yeah one skill point over I need to I, I can level up some weapons See, I need to go level up this enforcer. It's overwhelmer. 
You know what? Let's see if we can go do that. Because I have the points. Right, the rocket launcher is nice, but these are, it's it's a bit slow. Let's see if I can get out. you're on, you're on. There isn't any... I just gotta bang through this. I think because I went over the bridge. This enforcer needs to come up. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can quit to the main menu go back to the city before we cross the bridge. thinking like since I have the skill points and then once we cross this bridge there's an going back now. So we're going to hold that down. Operative, you must secure the mention gate. We have indications Decay will try to activate it to prove its functionality to Malvor's scale. Well, we gotta just do it. They must have spent stupendous resources on the AGI and printing code alone, even if it failed. They will want to gain something. Decay is to be terminated. She now serves a different master. And we have all the data on mention we need. Y Corp will reward you handsomely if you get this done. And you'll be given your independent contractor license. The mansion control SI should be located somewhere near the gate itself, deep within the facility. What? They are smacking, man. I came out of nowhere at you. I mean, 
this did help last time. Go the other way, man. Not going towards the, the way of the people, dude. This thing is being garbo?
the tunnel in through your imp, so you need to stick close to that door, all right? How about I tell for you, huh? <laughs> your imp's getting cocky. Now let's do this. For the record, I'm allowing this only under protest. So you need to stick close to that door, all right? How about I tell her you, huh? <laughs> Your imp's getting cocky. Now let's do this. For the record, I'm allowing this only under protest. Lost contact again. Move in closer.
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to get off one of these. That's too low, man. These seem both seem kind of light, but they do work. Unless I have to go back to the rocket launcher. I was probably just warmed up. Access denied. Magnetic lock engaged. I got this one, buddy. I'm gonna have to tunnel in through your imp, so you need to stick close to that door, all right? How about I tunnel through you, huh? <laughs> your imp's getting cocky. Now let's do this. For the record, I'm allowing this. Do 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 do. do. I think it was the freezing. I was standing there to get inside the suits and they wouldn't grab the suit. Yeah, it's I gotta go back to either the rock or the the uh the gotta switch out. Gotta go back to the I switched too early on the augment. Mono defender is only for the room. We gotta go back to the dragon. kind of guys throw a hat fire and ice the dps isn't that high on this thing either man freaking five it's like low low so you need to stick close to that door all right how about i tell her you huh your imp's getting cocky now let's do this for the record i'm allowing this only under protest Closer. 
come on, man. It's like they increased the level of DP, like... Did I change, like, the level of difficulty or something? Because now everybody's big. I think I think I did change the Definitely. Not taking damage, dude. My gosh, bro, they weren't taking damage. He was in my face holding all the bullets down. Destroy the machinery! 
just wants to go towards the guy. I think because I had it hard, saved on hard, it stayed on hard. I'm not sure because it didn't seem like the end did for the chain. Oh my god. Well done, operative. That thing almost destroyed the gate generator. It'll be some time before we can get the prototype functional again. Malhorst Gelb might have failed to acquire Menshen, but they did succeed in destroying the Ascent Group. We know Noghead has told you the truth behind Protocol 61A, that Wycorp was incepted as part of an Ascent Group emergency backup plan. The subterfuge was necessary. We had to avoid unwanted Malhorst Gelb attention until we could ascertain the scope of their powers. The original intent was then to revise the Ascent Group, but certain powers have decided that this will not be. The Ascent Group AGI will be taken offline again, and the hardware repurposed. The damage caused was too extensive. Wycorp owns Menshen. The Ascent Group will remain dead, and Malhorst Gelb will be confronted in due time. What's left of the Ascenders will be repurposed. You did your part in all this to the best of your limited abilities. Your contract is hereby fulfilled. We have upgraded your status in the Intercorp database, and you are now an independent contractor. The usual NDAs are of course in place. Speak a single word of this, and we will have you terminated. Nice work, pal. Quite complete with some assistance for myself, but still. Very impressive. I took the liberty to install a small back door into the Manchen OS. Kira knows, but she can't remove it without destroying the gate. It's the sole reason you and I are still alive. There's nothing like a bit of mutually assured destruction to bring a corp to heal. No need to thank me, bud. Join me in Terraline instead. Level 72 now.
We've just received word. Contact with the cane has been lost. It seems the gate prototype suffered a catastrophic malfunction and was destroyed. I'm not surprised. It was a pipe dream to begin with. What of our losses? Significant, but within projections. Unfortunately, we lost the AGI imprint credentials, but the gate itself was more stable than we've seen before. The Ascent Group, however, will likely never recover. We don't need the Ascent Group. Get the telemetry over to the other facilities, but tell no one about the other side. I'll communicate with our benefactor. As always. All right, there we go. So... It seems like the weapons I do have are working. Move out of the way, dude. Eh. White and red. Or dark metal. Eh, we'll go dark metal. We'll just see how that works. Oh, great. So this thing has come in handy, handier than I thought. Really handier than I thought. Let's see the weapons I'm currently pulling. Overwhelmer and sleeper. Surprising. Anything that's lethal. So let's see what we have. This price is two. And then what's the other one? The sweeper. The overwhelmer. That's what I'm rocking right now anyway. The overwhelmer and this uh, P90. I'm taking your... All right, so we're gonna go with the E. Overwhelmer first. Cause I did the work. So what I do is normally what I would beat the game with, that's what I would keep. Because if you can be in level bosses, this is just my idea, ideal. That if you're able to be, well, it, it's actually real tested as well that if you're able to beat the in-game characters with the weapons you have, those are, for your play style, the most beneficial weapons. Even though other weapons, they have higher DPS for certain things, the Overwhelmer is really, really doing what it needs to do. And so this is only one, so we're gonna pull this up. So the overwhelmer will be nasty if we keep uh, keep pushing it. And now this this one is two. I'm gonna put that in as well. All right, let's see this skin. We have a new armor. Let's go to the colored guy. Why is he so far away? Bounce I 
I'll strike that one from the list then. You creds for you. Look, thanks and all, but I need to process this on my own for a bit. All right, we have armor, head piece. Check out the weapon guy just to see if there's another weapon. It's more like one of each. 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 This bat is probably nasty once you level it up because. It's doing a lot of DPS. It's 199. I don't know why that bat is saying that it's uh it's doing more damage than everything else. That bat is actually pretty nasty. We can buy some. Ugh, that's not too Shot. What is this? This is like down low. Falcon headset. Jack o' lantern. This is pretty cool. Joy Runner. Label on. An off market, non corporate collective DIY enthousi enthusiasts. Made by a restless coach. This harness makes a reliable aid. I do like this look though. This top is pretty dope. This Joy Runner. Jet uh, designed for the net jockey fashionistas out there. Slim fit, choice fabrics, slick appearance, effectively hides multiple fail safe. I think I'm wearing this here. Oh, this is under the Joy Runner label. Nice. 
Somewhere, but what is my major? Pretty dope. I'd probably wear this instead of the other one. Form function is complete package sporting the beloved Hydrocat. Hydrocat, very exclusive giveaway item only to the lucky few who have managed to lay their hands on. What about the pumpkin head? I didn't see the pumpkin head. Wait a minute. I didn't buy the pumpkin head? did have something new, I just didn't acquire it. Jack o' lantern. There we go, purchase. Five two. Head cap. Alright, so what do we have that cap? Is that alright? I'm not sure where that came from. Jack o' lantern is cool, black market. Advanced head protection. Clearing out of nowhere, want to recycle. This headgear is the choice of many. Those looking to trick or treat unlucky habbers into giving them the treats. Many are the jack o' lantern being <coughs> a fruit or vegetable, when in fact it's a piece of highly flame retardant headgear with interior lit lighting. Ideal for those cool, dark nights when you're tempted to get into a little too close to the heat. Magma maker. Uh, I think this one is probably better than the pumpkin. The pumpkin looks kind of dope, though. Now, now these armor pieces look a little bit better because of the head. This is the one I was looking at. It looks pretty dope now because of the head. <laughs> the jacket looks better now. Now this looks really cool over right here because of the head. This looks cool because of the head now. That looks really cool right there. Hellfire jacket. I 
I'm liking this one right here a little bit, but we're gonna go with this one. Uh, is this the one? No, we're going up here. Right here. I think I'm going back to these pants. cool because it goes with the arm Haber jeans Let's see what we're looking like I need to leave I can just look at it eh I'm not really liking those shoes we're done with the corporal look Joy Runner. Upper body. Lose a little bit of physical, but you gain everything else. I like this one because it gives us the Vital signs upper body. Currently rocking the E60 Trooper. Critical hit rate. That's what I liked on that one. Evasion, a little bit better tactical sense. And this one wanted to give us, it gave us more balance in head, physical. But this gave us critical hit rate. That's why I put that on for. Think anything else pops out critical here, right? Yeah, critical hit rate is where we were. Like we're losing critical hit rate if we pull this off. So we keep that critical hit rate on. Alright, let's check these legs. The legs give us plus three critical hit rate as well. Vital signs. Head, upper body, lower body, and eh, vital signs. Not, yeah, those are pretty. Evasion plus two. Yeah, not, it gives you more. The other one gives you more HP, like vital signs, but critical hit rate. So we're keeping everything we have now. We can just. Those are just stats. Now we can go back and check out what we'd actually like to rock.
looking for joy for joy runner pants see these are joy runner pants they're cool but these red runners look a little bit better so we're looking at the E40 red uh, red runners or the net slinger red let's see those boots look kind of cool take your pick Then what were the other ones we we're looking at? The other these rays here. Net slinger, let's check out these red runners. Everything's two two K. These pants look dope. I like how he has the little thing in his hand. Oh, how about some cut? thing is it would be cool to I guess you can only go to level 40 right now we can change the colors of our character a little bit I guess can we I think once you buy them one time, you should be able to keep them on. I'm thinking it. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm liking the... I like the contrast in this between the weapon, the, the little knee pads, the, the, the tibia shin guards, and the boots. Right? It's like more of a clean mix. Than this one. And it costs so much. It costs a lot, but still, it's like, come on. You got, once I buy them one time, I should be able to see them. Alright. Let's go check out manufacturers. Advanced leg protection. are about the same boots I'm liking the, the placement on the leg right there the little the thigh like the pistol grip
just the black looks a little bit more streamlined, looks a little bit more formal. We'll rock this just because uh, I would like to learn a little bit more about the companies we're wearing. So let's see. You're pulling it off. Joy Runner. Look, as good as you... Yo, alright, so we're looking, I'm liking what I look like right now. The black pants put a little bit more contrast on it. Look like a little Star Wars geek. That look on purpose? I'm walking around now, the pants do look... character looks fly Shut up and talk to me I'm on East Street from here on out all things to you 
All right. We have no more missions. We have side missions and boxes. Chests all over. Wow. Side missions all over. Can't do anything as far as level of character anymore. I'm sitting on skills. Maxed out. Bounties. Cyber deck. Nothing can be upgraded on that. There was something about changing color. Skin. Oh, that was on the... That was in the... The DNA. It's fine. I'm going to keep my character like this. Alright, so let's knock out some of this stuff. Do I really care about these? Let's do the side missions and whatever we pick up from the side missions in the area as far as boxes we'll grab. Let's see if we have anybody online. Oh no, mine from our boys. Or something, we'll take another one somewhere else. Let's just get to these five missions. You know what I'm gonna do right now, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. What is that called? Bonus missions.
Cyber Heist is now available. We're gonna see what we have. I've noticed there's this like radio over here. What is this green dot? See that over there? Backwards. I haven't. I. I don't recall going to that. No, I'm not. I'm not sure if that's the guy's radio tower frequency he'd like me to install. There's something right there. It's like a little signal. Oh, that's this guy. Okay, I've been here. And I'm forever grateful of it. My dear audience, I have learned things almost too incredible to accept. Truth better not known. Facts that should have stayed buried. But I remain your grateful abbot. And the feed must be fed. Many heard the distant sounds of fighting coming from the sub-levels recently. The feed has now exclusively learned what the fight was about. This was no ordinary corporate skirmish. It turns out the Ascent Group CEO, Tham, had uploaded himself into a gigantic cybernetic monstrosity down there. So I like that they're actually telling us what transpired in the game. And the feed is pretty good. Weapons and at least 30 feet tall. Or so my sources tell me. The Ascenders helped build this thing and they hid it away on the sub-levels until it was ready to emerge. CEO Tham's goal was to retake the arcology from the scavengers who have come to plunder it. But the gambit failed, and he was destroyed by a rival corporation. Too incredible to believe, I know, I know, but these are the facts, people. Or at least the other. As for whether they are true or not, it's like I always say, who needs truth when you've got a good story? All right, that's pretty nice. All right, so now we know what that is. So my question now, is what is this? Does that mean I have to go down to the arcology 
because there's still a green piece there. Let's see if I can get, okay, let's go back to the warrants. There's a green dot in there that we need to, to look at. Look a little bit like red. Like it doesn't seem like this. This does much damage. A combination. So yeah. If I could go back, I would just keep up all in these two. check out what's happening with this green star. New area, the edge. What do you mean I've been here already? I've already been to the edge. What are you talking about? Okay, I think this is where I have to do some of those missions for that guy. more or what I would like to see too is potentially like a a reroll system because once you put money into a certain weapon that's just it like what I mean skill points into a weapon are pretty cool. Here 
I've been here for quite a last. Now, why is the green over here? did I get a limb by?